Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina Kent and I'm an oil painter based out of San Francisco. And today I'm gonna to walk you through the process for a new painting I just finished of one of my favorite subjects, which is painting the streets of San Francisco. Let's check it out. So the painting that I'm working on, it's a painting based on a view of the Pacific Heights neighborhood in San Francisco. This is a really cool neighborhood and has a lot of great hills and super cute houses. Um, so whenever I'm driving there, especially if I'm driving around Golden Hour, I always make sure that I have my camera ready because I just know that I'm going to see some beautiful views. And so this is based on a photograph that I took right around sunset of that neighborhood. And I just really liked it because there's this, the warm light of sunset is hitting the houses at the top of the hill and then the rest of the hill is in this cool blue shadow of evening light. So with this painting I really wanted to speak to that contrast of the the warm and the cool and give the sensation of these houses that were kind of glowing at the top of the hill. And I also really liked one thing I like in general about the composition of these paint, painting these like sloping San Francisco city streets is that you have these trees that usually go along the streets or also cars too that create these lines that lead your eye into the image and up. And so I like the idea that these this dark line of trees was going to lead our eyes up to this high contrast point at the top where the houses were being hit by um, the warm sunset light. And at this point, I'm just blocking in the basic colors that I'm going to be using. Um, and I'm painting over the underpainting, which I did in Burnt Sienna um, a couple days before and gave it some time to dry so that once I started the painting, they wouldn't mix together. Um, but it's helpful. I really like having an underpainting that just helps establish the basic composition, where the darks and lights are, the proportion of things, so that once I start the painting process, I can just focus on where where to put the colors and what colors I'm using. And I just really like, I find so much inspiration when I'm driving around San Francisco and just looking at the houses in the city. And I find the streets and the houses on the hills to be so beautiful. There's just something so, so attractive. And I guess it's kind of like whimsical, the effect that the streets have that I just really enjoy capturing in paint. I hadn't done much cityscape painting at all until I actually moved to the city. Before this, I was painting more still lifes and landscapes, but once I moved to San Francisco, I I was just so enamored with the beauty of this city that I I knew I had to paint it. And I think one of the reasons why I hadn't painted that many cityscapes in the past, um, well, one, it, it wasn't just part of my everyday life. And usually I like to draw inspiration from the things that I'm experiencing in the everyday. But I think the other reason was that I usually found cityscapes to be pretty aggressive, actually. Like when I think about paintings of Chicago or New York City, I would oftentimes think about paintings that were very, um, that involved a lot of very extreme angles and straight lines and really sharp shapes. And the cool thing about San Francisco is that it's a city full of hills. So rather than these really like sharp angles and straight lines, you have actually a lot of curves in the city. I mean, you still have the straight lines of the geometric roofs of the houses, but there's this kind of, you can feel like the landscape undulating beneath. You can feel the rolling hills and it, I, I like this idea that the landscape is still asserting itself underneath the city and creating a cityscape that is almost a landscape that isn't just these straight lines, this really um, strict grid that most cities in the U.S. are. And I think that's what makes painting San Francisco cityscapes even more enjoyable, especially when I'm painting um, houses like this, because the houses themselves, they're very geometric and there are a lot of straight lines and 
um, sharp roofs and a lot of rectangles, but they're woven in, or I guess they're juxtaposed against this street that's sloping upwards, this gently curving street and the trees that line the street that create a contrast in shapes that I really enjoy. And at this point, I've got most of the major shapes and even a lot of details blocked in. And I think a lot about what are the smaller shapes? What are the details that are necessary to communicate what I'm trying to say? What, what is going to support the main idea of this painting? Which I think, I think for me, the main idea was something about this, the light of sunset, the last rays of light hitting these houses. And then I wanted everything else to kind of support that idea of how beautiful that was, how striking of a vision it was. And that's one of the fun challenges of painting cityscapes is that there are so many details. It can be so complex. Um, and yet I think our job as painters is to simplify those details, to figure out what are the details that we really need to communicate and what can be left out. And that's where that's where painting becomes really poetic when we figure that out and strike that balance. Once I defined the shapes of the houses being hit by the light, then I could focus more on refining some of the foreground shapes. And so I just go in and add some really light details to the cars in the foreground, trying to add just enough to suggest that these are cars um, without without showing too much, without being too distracting, because I still want the eye to be drawn to that really warm light towards the top of, of the image. But I also want to communicate the detail of cars. And as your eye is moving around, I want to, you know, give you more things to look at, more things to enjoy in the image. So here I'm just adding some of those smaller details and finishing touches. Overall, I'm really happy with how this painting came together. I think the combination of the lighting and the colors and this upward swooping street communicates this very peaceful and dreamlike feeling that I had when I, when I initially saw the houses in that light. And I hope when you see this painting, you feel the same and that you can imagine being there in San Francisco and seeing this with me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. And if you like my art, if you like my videos and you wanna help me make more, check out my Patreon at the link below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.